Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel, and where's Margarita? In Margaritaville. Is she, that where she is? Sure. Well, apparently the internet thinks it's Margarita Week, or has been Margarita Week, so... Isn't every week? It seems that way. We Down live here, here and uh, sure. they're always celebrating it. We're going to do margaritas in our favorite type of glass, a martini glass. Sure, why not? Because uh, we're not going to do slushies, um, and we're going to do a variations. <laughs> we're not sure exactly what we want to do, but... Uh, we well, that's how it is. You want to show. explain this? This is the Austin Powers uh, Shagadelic Shakers with a blue margarita in it. It could be. When did the Austin Powers movies come out? In the 90s, weren't they? Well, this might be from then. But there were three of them, weren't there? Oh, maybe this is from the third one. We'll, we'll see how much we need it. Um, it's got a copyright of 1999, so it can't be older than 20 years. Who knows? And it's got things you don't like. Oh, yes, yes, it's got high fructose corn syrup. We, and we know you're allergic to yes. that. So we're going to do an almost normal thing. The normal thing that we like to do is, of course, tequila, which makes it a margarita. Usually Cointreau, but yes. we did a, one show where we compared Cointreau to Grand Marnier to triple, um, sec. triple sec. And Cointreau wins. Cointreau wins every time. Even though Grand Marnier is sometimes more expensive. And then you want to add some lime juice, fresh lime juice. Of course, a little lime juice. You need that. that. You do. Balances And it. the thing about a margarita, yes. it's a good hot weather drink. And a good cold weather drink. And hot weather is a bonus now, folks. It, it's here. Oh, is that our topic? Are you... High temps. Air conditioning. Or a bonus. Yeah, the guy and has to fix my air conditioning came home and it was barely blowing. Yes, the temps are up. It was over 90 the other day, uh, or was 90, and it's going to be getting hotter in the next few weeks. It's time to get the air conditioners going in our home. Uh, I don't have mine going yet. But oh, you could wait. It's only a swamp cooler. All you have to do is put wet towels in front of your wet windows. Towels. Yeah. yeah. Well, we do have uh, wet towel. pans and a couple of rooms. Oh, well, that's good. So, uh, the basic uh, margarita thing is half, one and a half ounces of tequila, plenty, plenty of ice. Plenty of ice. You want to have plenty, plenty of ice. ice. Now, these are on the rocks, not frozen. Well, this is made with ice. It's going to be in a martini glass, no on the rocks. Yeah. It's too much of a exactly. mess. Too much of the a mess. The rocks will be in the shaker. Yes. Hopefully. And in goes the fresh lime juice. That's uh, usually three quarters of an ounce. What does that look like to you? One, one half what lime. What picture? <laughs> that one or the shagadelic? Oh, you. The shaker. No, why don't you put this in the script? I'm squeezing lime juice into the place that already has te tequila juice. I think. Yeah, yeah. you want to use fresh lime juice, not that real that real lime no. stuff that you buy in a jar. That's terrible. always use real stuff. So this is an ounce and a half of uh, tequila. We're using Alto's tequila, which is uh, only moderately uh, expensive or inexpensive. I think it's twenty bucks a bottle. Is that okay? For you, you could do worse. You could or better, yes. depending on how you look at it. Uh, so the variation on Cointreau is. Uh, Clement, which is a, a French company, made in Martinique. It's a Creole shrub. So there's, there's uh, basically it's called liqueur d'orange. So there's, dirt, there's herbs. Herbs. No, and the, the Creole stuff makes it a bit kickier. Mm. Use an ounce of that. I'm going to use less than an ounce since it's kickier. It's kickier. And so we'll see how this works. We might have done this before. I drink so much, I can't remember. Well, you know, tequila is something we don't use that often on this show. And if you've watched this show, you know that we do a cocktail every episode, or at least a tasting of some sort. And I like to do gin, usually, because gin is... We goes, like gin. It's fun. We tequila, do gin more than vodka. Pretty much, yes, we used to do vodka a lot, but now we do gin. Uh, tequila, pretty much margarita. That's pretty much it. That's right. Gin, you could mix with everything. We should try doing... Uh, <laughs> gin -aritas? You could do... I think you could do a, uh, a tequila uh, Negroni. Might be bad. I don't might know. Might be bad. You try and let me know. We'll do it on the show so we both suffer together. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want me to suffer alone. You're going to suffer through this with me, right? You already are. Yeah, I'm, I'm suffering already. You could, you could go to, you want to talk about outdoors, if you're talking about high temperatures? Yeah, well. We were in New York this weekend. If you don't want it so hot, go there. 60 degrees. Mm, that was the humidity. Fine. But we didn't stay with the humidity that long. We left because the humidity got too sticky. Uh, 
You know, the humidity was fine. Well, you know, the outdoor, the Southwest Environmental Center uh, does a lot, a lot of things for the environment. And one of them they, they do for the public as well as the environment. They hold, every two weeks they hold a back by noon outing. <laughs> and I attended it this past Saturday. In this case, we uh, started off at La Cueva, right near Dripping Springs. We hiked around the back end of it and up Fillmore Canyon. Uh, we got up as far as the waterfall up there. And it was hosted by a volcanologist from New Mexico State University. A volcanologist? Volcanologist. Is that a satanic uh, religion or something? It's from the planet Vulcan. Vulcan. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, no, she, had a, she has a PhD in volcanology. And since... From, from what uh, university? Here, I guess. Which state? And, uh, Which Utah state? <laughs> and so, anyway, she was very informative because all this is all volcanic, you know. The Oregon Mountains. The, the whole world. The Cueva. Here's to mountains and volcanoes. Not bad. That's pretty good. Now, it's a good thing the glasses are small. Since it's not on the rocks, it won't stay cold long. No, it won't. Especially under these hot TV lights. Right, and the fact that it's 400 degrees outside because the volcano just came out next to this building. That's what happens when you, when you uh, dig too deep for geothermal water. You get a volcano coming up. So don't do that. So did you know that the uh, Oregon Mountains were heaved up east to west? Heaved up? Heaved up. And then the, o then the Otero Basin falls away from it. I love it when you get some education. All the way over it, to it really the Sacramento Mountains. It really makes you feel confident that the world still can exist. Yes. I paid attention. Really? And it was a good I, hike, I must say. It was a nice hike, you know, hiking uphill all the way, mostly. I don't know, before, before, the, before the show, you were saying it almost killed you. But aside from that. <laughs> no, uh, I, maybe semi-moderate, I would, I would rate the hike. We, we rose in elevation around 500 feet. I thought it was a lot more than that. It's, it felt like more. Should we tell Bob Liberty to go on this? Well. He likes walking. Each one's different. In two weeks, it's going to be at, at Geary Springs. It's going to be about uh, toads. Toads? Yeah, send him on that one. Okay. You, you Is, are there walks that you can just walk downhill? <laughs> no? <laughs> huh? You How just, does that work? Helicopter. I see. Yeah. And uh, so we parked, a, there's a nice parking lot up there at La Cueva. Hmm. It's five dollars per car though to park. Keep that in mind. When so you, you could share your ride with somebody. Yes, I rode my first, uh, uh, oh, what's that car? Uh, that electric car. Which one? Starts with a T. Tesla? Tesla. Yes, the fellow that let me ride with him had, had a Tesla. Very nice really? Car. Yeah. The speedometer goes 140. <laughs> how far, how fast does the car go? <laughs> well, he, depends on how many watts he it has. It has a governor on this it. Needs you a can little adjust bit, it. Do you so think it needs more line? I think it needs more line. I'll go with that. Okay. Now, also, it doesn't have a speedometer. No, it does. It goes oh. at one forty, but you could put a governor on it so it only goes a certain uh, range of speed. But uh, how long does the uh, extension cord have to be? That would be pretty long. So pretty long. really? Yeah. Yeah. But that would give you a range of a certain it's amount. True. Yeah. Is now, this better? Yeah, it's just, I think it is. Now, speaking of the environment. Ooh. You know, oh, we were. You know, helium balloons, party balloons, filled with helium. A lot of time, a lot of places will do a balloon release oh, yeah. in honor or memorial it, of something. Or a, a wedding, yeah. birthday, the very festive. Right. And of course, those balloons, when they come down, they have to land somewhere. No, they just go into heaven. And they. Uh, Isn't that the point? They, they go have, to heaven. They don't have that much helium, and so they come down. Now they're litter, and they're latex. And you know, dolphins uh, eat them and then they die. Turtles mistake them for and jellyfish or something like that. Other animals eat them, choke on them, die. Uh, it's you know, other birds will eat them. And uh, so, isn't that uh, you know the whole thing of, of uh, if you're not smart enough not to eat latex, you die. That's how. That's why you give babies bottles so they don't eat the, the no. nipples. Well, see, know. latex doesn't occur naturally in nature, so the animals. But don't know what it contact is. With it. Now, many states are, have already outlawed this. This is why I hate nature. California, Connecticut, Florida, Tennessee, and Virginia all have laws that ban or restrict launches of helium balloons. Maine is about ready to do that. What's going to you know, turn the switch on to make them stop? Or is it just a matter of time? See, well, see, As of, they you have to get rid of all your helium uh, balloons first? Well, most of these balloons, you know, are, are near big bodies of water, either oceans or lots yes, of lakes. Yes, well, you said Connecticut and, and California. And those things land in those bodies of water where they get eaten by fish, 
and turtles and and other aquatic creatures. Even Birds. if you had a non-helium balloon, isn't it possible it could get blown away in the yes, air? Yes. So, so if you release, there goes the balloon company. Well, if you, you know, mm. you can't do these releases unless you have helium or oh. hydrogen. <laughs> well, hydrogen you just have to light, <laughs> and then it goes kabunkers. So, so anyway, I'm all for getting rid of he helium balloon releases. As I say, happy Blaze Day. Oh, happy birthday. Mm. And happy death day to turtles. That's now, sad. Now, the, um, speaking of things that go high, <laughs> you know the hemp industry. What are you uh, talking about? It's about to bloom, literally. Because? In New Mexico. Because of, they it's make like, clothes out of it? They've allowed the hemp industry now to, to uh, take foot. They, it had been banned for years. Uh, people thought it had something to do with marijuana. Oh, if I grow hemp plants for ropes and clothing and so forth, the people well people get high different kind of different type of uh, hemp plant. That's true. Uh, but it was the actually the believe it or not the oil industry and the plastics industry. Because you make plastics nylon right. Right. out of oil, yeah. and they didn't want hemp rope and hemp products competing with nylon rope and nylon products. So they they were they were lobbying for years to keep the hemp industry uh, verboten. No, it's not the uh, uh, straight people. I thought it was the booze companies too, but booze companies are served by uh, people getting stoned because yes, it works but together. Booze companies have nothing to do with hemp. Not hemp. Hemp is not marijuana. But people are assuming that. Well, that's because they're CB stupid. CBD is, comes from hemp. Yes, oil that uh, has very analgesic properties and other uh, medicinal purposes. So, so there's CBD places legally uh, here all over the place. Yeah, Interesting how we are able to distinguish now. And how many years has it taken since we've outlawed it? And hemp is a product that re, you know rejuvenates itself. And it's a weed. I mean, it's a weed. You can make paper out of it. That's right. And then you could write on it and uh, rub it on it yourself. It has hundreds of uses. Good. What else? So are, are you going to enumerate them? Do you have a list? A hundred well, uses. Well, it's possible that uh, in a few years. The hemp industry in New Mexico, well, New Mexico will be, on, will be known for chili, pecans, and hemp. And hemp. That'd be good. Well, of course, in Colorado, it's, uh, pot is legal there. Yeah, but it probably grows a lot better here. Probably does. Yeah. Well, it grows probably. in California. Now, um, what's that? Refugees? We've got, a, we've, oh, we got refugees. We've had a lot of refugees visiting Las Cruces has nothing the past to do week with or hemp. so. It has nothing, nothing to do at with all. Hemp. They're not smuggling it. No. In these things. And these people are refugees, not smugglers. Just as you were a refugee from ancient Germany and Ireland or and the Celtic states. Yes. And um, so they're here. Las Cruces has been accommodating up to 2,200 so far in varying places. The city of Las Cruces is uh, renting out the, the uh, National Guard armory. It's sitting vacant right now on Brown Road Valley Drive. Uh, it's good. Well, it's going to start up probably about ads were being seen yeah. on TV. Right the Gospel now. Rescue Mission is no longer taking in new ones. Because it's kind of full. They're, they're, they're full. They're at I capacity. I think Albuquerque has agreed to take in some people. But it's not, it's Santa, not Fe. Santa Fe. And they, because it would ruin their reputation as a city of uh, Santa Fe people. just feels they're not prepared to, to do that. Most of the refugees that we have here are just stopping over. They're moving on to other places where they have relatives and, and we, other places to go. We were at the airport and we saw they had a special area for refugees to go through and they were already going away to the homes that are sponsoring them. Right. They were right. so sweet. Some of those little kids are really cute. Sure. And all these people, if you talk to any of the volunteers that have been dealing with them, all, all mentioned to a person how nice and, and yeah. friendly and, yes. and grateful these people are. So we can't say anything bad about it. I imagine if we People were refugees, we had to go someplace against our will, really. Pete, we'd be really obnoxious. <laughs> I know you'd We'd go, could you turn the air conditioning off? I'm getting a chill, you know? You call this food? And this tea isn't the to my liking. Do you have Earl Grey? So uh, we wish our refugee friends good luck. Yes, and may you become us or, or whatever you want to do. Well, they're, so they, they want. they're hoping for the American dream, too. Become a part Everybody of. who's here came for the dream. Sure. Now, and hopefully you, you all get will get ro roles in Hollywood. Oh, they don't want that. That's the that's the dream of many Americans. They just want to come here and work. No. You do the kind of jobs you don't Let want. Let them to do that. Well, which is everything. <laughs> See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. That's good. Thank you, refugees, for helping me out. Yeah. Yeah. People say, oh, those lazy refugees. Wait a minute. They just, They're either lazy or they want to work. They work hard. You can't have it both ways. 
They don't work hard. They got、uh, rides from here to here from、uh, Guatemala. Rides? Or they walk. Most of them walk. If you walk from Guatemala to here, some of them man rode on the top of a train. Stuff, yeah. It's crazy. It wasn't an easy way to get here. So anyway, you want to talk about? Okay, we're ready for a break because we have worked over ten minutes in a row. Closer to fourteen. Oh my God. So are we going to make a different kind of margarita when we yeah, come back? Yeah, we're going to do the margarita with the blood. Ar- This is、uh, one thing. Where is it? Here. Okay. We've done that one. We did this one. This is the spicy Creole shrub, which has some orange in it. This is blood orange, and since、uh, Quantrill is an orange thing, yeah, me too.、It、so be good. We'll be right、we'll、back soon after these words. Oh. Is it real? Is it something? Something I can feel? Is it real? Is it real? Is it something? Something I can feel? Tell me, is it real? Is it real? Is it something? Something I can feel? Is it real? Is it real? Is it something? Something I can feel? Call Mark Goldstein, the Safe Money Guy, at five seven five 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 six two four seven two. To learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Hi, welcome to Okazuri. It's our happy hour sushi fest. We placed our top sushi rolls on special from four to six dollars, and our ice cold draft beer is only two fifty. Have a California roll, banderito roll. Sit at the floating sushi bar, and the kids eat for only two dollars. From two to five, Monday through Thursday, located on University in the Pan Am Plaza. It's our happy hour sushi fest. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at HorizonGranite.com. Call us at five seven five six five zero thirty one eighty. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Come to Tacos El Borrego de Oro in Las Cruces. We are celebrating one dollar Taco Tuesdays. Come enjoy authentic Mexican food for the whole family. Bring the family to Tacos El Borrego for one dollar Taco Tuesday and Flauta Thursday. There you go. So great! You can do all these different things. Here, do like one. Okay. Nice. Hey guys, not all. And we are back. This is double talk. Right here. Can you hear the shaking of these?、Uh, this、Maracas? ice. That's because your hearing aid's working. What? Yes. This is double talk here on、Who's、the Los Cruces channel. I'm Michael. He's Mark. And、uh, we're thirsty. We're going to round two of the、uh, Margarita Week test of alternatives to Cointreau, Triple Sec, and Grand Marnier. We've already done the Clément、uh, Creole Shrub, which was.、Uh, Pretty much、uh, orange liqueur. What's that? And we are now doing. What orange? This、liqueur? is a wonderful thing. This Salerno、uh, blood liqueur. The bottom is shaped like a little orange you know, juicer. You know what the invitation is called, Mike? One of them. The Marie Antoinette breast. That's、uh, called. It's called the kick. Oh, we like in a bottle. It's called the kick. I don't know why they call it that. Because、uh, you kick it. Good. It's in here. <laughs> 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 I was waiting for it to get cold. Yes, you are. Or、yeah. I drank the whole thing, so you wouldn't get any. Yeah. So okay, this is blood orange as opposed to just any old orange. Blood oranges are now available in town as oranges. At, they're at Sprouts. Now there's cheaper brands of, of orange liqueur. 
Name one of them. Triple sec. Triple sec. Yeah. But that's got a lot of sugar. It's not even in the court. Well, yeah. Ooh, gotcha, this is that. pretty good. It is. Yeah. More orangey. You can really taste mm. the pungency of the orange. It doesn't get too sticky. That, um, one of the tequila companies makes something called Controy. You've seen Controy, right? Is it anything like Cointreau? Uh, yes, it's like Cointreau, except in Spanish. Oh, okay. No, it's sort of like it. It's like a Ertzatz uh, Cointreau. Yes. Cointreau is still, it's I believe, orange. a standard. People ask yes, me it is. all the time. You know, I'm standing in the subway here. And people say, uh, can I use triple sec on my uh, margaritas? I say, sure, if you don't like your guests. Yeah. <laughs> what platform was that on? That was the uh, J for Jerez. <laughs> the, the J train. Uh, hey, by the way, down uh, this weekend, today rather, <clears throat> at the Farmers and Ranch, Farmers and Crafts Market downtown, uh, the medical today. students, medical students today, How do you know from the Bur Burrell you know College the Burrell of medical Osteopathic School? Medicine, are going to be down there um, doing things for residents. They're going to be giving glucose screenings, uh, blood pressure screenings, cool. CPR training. Are these all the students doing it? And a walkthrough on how to uh, stop an opioid overdose with nasal spray Narcan. Oh, that's handy to have. And Do, so, uh, Any of these tests require taking your blood? Uh, no, they don't. No, that's good, I'll Not go. That's my knowledge, you'll go? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, it's free. It's free. I know a lot of these students because I work with them from time, time to time in my... You're their medical professor. In my duties over there. Because you, you profess diseases. <laughs> That's true, I do. What's your problem now? I, uh, oh, wait, you shouldn't say you. it on TV. You shouldn't say it on TV because if any students are watching a show, they will correctly analyze you. Yes. and uh, Although, what is wrong? <laughs> you just have pain. These what is that? The, a lot of these are first-year students, too. Yeah, they're already giving back to the community. <laughs> And in fact, I'll be dealing with first-year students next week. They're having their finals, and I'm uh, deeply involved with uh, their final examinations, as I am in every semester over there, in my role as... Patient. <laughs> I'm very patient. It's the only time he's and, patient. And on top, an autopsy instructor. Hey, this man is a professional patient. I always thought he was just a professional complainer, but apparently but, he, he worked his way up to patience. But with you, anybody needs patience. Yes. And thank goodness. You now, have it. Okay. Also, also this uh, weekend, yeah. Art in the Garden. Art in the Garden. That's Sunday. And that is free of charge. Now, where is it? It's That's in Picacho Hills. Picacho Hills. Several homes. Several homes uh, are being open to the public to come in and see the art that people have put up in their yards. And if you've never done yards. that, it's always great to see that. There are some Very nice interesting houses. people there. There's one woman who works for the uh, Arts Council whose husband was a sort of post-surrealist artist in Belgium. Yes, the last She's, of the surrealists, no. he claimed to me. Oh, you know him, Leo Doman? I met him, yeah. No. I, and uh, so it, it would be six beautiful homes and gardens featuring 17 local artists. And uh, some of these gardens themselves are works of art. And you can talk to master gardeners who were there, there and ask questions. Okay, master gardeners. And uh, garden garden maps are available. I guess when you get to the first one, you can get a map to the rest, one, rest oh, of wait them. Wait a second. So some, Look of these for the gardens are, some of these gardens are so big you get lost, so you need a map when you're in the garden. Yeah, maybe you go, have a maze. Where's the exit? It's a maze. Where's the you exit? Know, once you go check they in, have that in the Picacho. You don't check out. Oh, no. Sounds like a bad So movie. everybody knows where Picacho Hills is. You take Picacho West until you get to the Picacho Hills. If you don't, then drive. look it up. Use, use Waze or Google or something. Yeah, everybody knows where Picacho Hills is. Yeah, nobody <laughs> knows where downtown is, though. You never mention that with the downtown at the farmer's market. Downtown is downtown. People right? people don't know it's downtown. Everybody drives around it in the old days. Now you could drive, I don't Not know. Not quite yet. The roads are crazy there. Good there. luck there. You have better luck finding your way in Picacho. Oh. Right now, the way the construction is downtown, it can be tricky trying to find a place to park during the farmer's market. So park in the electric company, El Paso Electric on... It's it? usually a pretty good place to go. Yeah. And um, now also going on, uh, coming up soon, yeah. is uh, what they call the Senior Connection. And that's uh, going to be at the convention center this coming Wednesday, May, May 8th. Seniors who do who want to do what? Meet other seniors? Well, there's going to be vendors with products and services. Services for today's seniors. 
Which would be what? Telling you stories? Well, it's, I don't know. There's but things. Seniors on the stage. Just the, seniors on the stage. So you got Jamie the Magic. Got Jamie, Jamie the O'Hara. Magic guy. He's funny. Then we got uh, Tapas Top. Tapas Top Spring Fashion Show for seniors. Yeah. New Harmony Singers will be doing songs oh. of the 60s. That's at noon. Gosh, poor Jamie the Magician has to be up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Starting at 10 a.m. Magic Gosh. for seniors. That'd be magic. Uh, here's, Actually, 10 a.m. I is made it out of bed today. 10 a.m. is midday for a senior. <laughs> I had a good movement this morning. <laughs> that's magic for seniors. That's ma that's a miracle. Yeah, there'd be a roulette wheel for door prizes. Right, so you can win a door if you need a door. So oh, we better keep moving here. Anytime from one from nine o'clock with the seniors to one p.m. It's free. You can learn how to do that step. Yes. Uh, you have Young Frankenstein. Oh, it's still canceled. But the uh, black box has uh, uh, something going on. Yes. Now Young Frankenstein will not become. They were so far have not been able to revive it. They had problems they over there. They are looking for an alternative space to do it. We are anxious to see what happens. We're also anxious to hear the gossip. We we hear shreds of gossip. No, no, like, no, I pretty we, much got it all. Uh, now. Did you? Yeah. Okay. And Mel Brooks, when asked, when I personally called Mel Brooks to get his response. Up to this? The response was, no comment. I would have said something like that, maybe. <sighs> Except to you, I wouldn't have answered the phone because I know your number. He probably wouldn't either. <laughs> so who's director John Singleton? John, oh, John he Singleton. died. Oh, yes. Director John Singleton, you know, Boys in yes, the Hood. he did. The remake of Shaft. And he had... Uh, ten other movies died. He had a blood clot. He died of a Stroke or something, wasn't it? Stroke, yeah. yeah. Yeah, at 51 years of age. Mm. It's unbelievable. What else? You also, an old it. friend, Laura DeVries, died. She's quite an actress around town. That's her brother. I mean, her her son, Paul, who I used to work with. Uh -huh. And uh, she was a wonder. She played Hello Dolly. She played Dolly. Really? Yeah. She, played she, she played Hello Dolly. She played Dolly and said hello a lot. <laughs> she did a lot of musicals. I uh, directed her in a play. That she did. Um, and she still talked to you? Yep. Yeah. Um, That's pretty she's good. She's very helpful to, with me on another project as well. So. Lord of Reed, 90 years Shaving. old. That's pretty good. She had a nice long 90's life. 90 is a lot better than 51, man. Her father was, I mean, her husband was a pastor. And? And so was her father. <laughs> Keeps you in the Runs family. Runs in the family, yes. Yes. Now, it's also, a pasteurized family. Yes. You know, the Bureau of Land Management. I know that. Um, the Las Cruces Actually, District. I about that. Yeah. They're, they're holding a bio blitz Saturday from 7 a.m. to 7.30, 7.30, even 8 o'clock tonight. That's quite a blitz, man. They are? What are they blitzing? And it's going to be, it's going to be at Dripping Springs. Yeah. They, there's, they're out there, they're supposed to correct that drip. They, they're bringing a, a group of plumbers in to fix the <laughs> drip at Dripping drip, drip. It's been going like that for years, and there's they all, said, enough already. Yeah, there's it's all kinds of activities crazy. going on at 7 a.m. Bird banding, bird observations. Yeah. Butterfly observations, reptile. You better finish this quick. Yes, plant observation, bat observation. Well, that ain't at 7.30. Maybe it is. Well, thanks for oh, joining look. us. Hi. <laughs> this show is over. Yeah, I can Chris tell. Chris Suler, our uh, producer, is trying to tell us something. We don't know what. I can take it. We'll have to ask him. That's Chris Suler, the co-producer. I have no idea what's going on I'll in this show. I'll drink that. Okay.